Yeah, things have been sort of crazy lately and I need a place to stay for a while. Mind if I crash at your place for a little bit? I bet this is Kyle. Is this Kyle? Okay. Hi, this is Charity and welcome to another Sims challenge. Now the Sims came out with a post that was entitled 24 while 24 and it had a bunch of challenges on it and some people have been doing some things with that so I decided to make my own take on it. So we have the 24 quests, we have all of the lot challenges enabled as well as haunted house, cat hangout, dog hangout, vampire nexus and the power conservation, water conservation, rough housing encouraged and sharing is caring neighborhood action plans so the idea is that we will get a random quest and we need to try and complete it we're also in strangerville by the way and the idea is that we will have a random quest and the random quest needs to be completed within one to four days which will also be a random number and then if we succeed we will get a random reward and the random reward is removing one of the lot challenges the haunted house moving out of strangerville or the neighborhood action plans except for wild prairie grass because i consider that a lot advantage not a challenge now if we complete the quest successfully we will either change the haunted house to residential remove one of the lot challenges or get rid of one of the annoying things like cat or dog hangout or vampire nexus or potentially remove a neighborhood action plan and those are all of the rewards for penalties we are either going to set simoleons to zero, bulldoze the lot, clean out our inventory, reset all skills to zero, remove wild prairie grass because that's actually an advantage, not a challenge, clear all relationships, lose all occult powers and rank, or lose all earned traits and satisfaction points. So those are the different penalties for not completing the challenge within one to four days. So let's see what we have to do first. Oh, and by the way, we are starting off with zero simoleons and nothing on our lot except for a free pond so we can look for frogs and we are not allowed to leave this lot unless the quest says that we can leave the lot and we can only go to specific places that the quest allows so that way you can't get around being off the lot and not dealing with the lot challenges now there are a couple lot challenges that are not able to be added such as the landfill lot because that's only on non-residential and those types of challenges will be added if we do go to a lot that allows them to be added so anytime i do travel i have to try to add all of the possible challenges to the lot that i'm allowed to go to so if we go to the desert bloom park for example because we need to take a selfie in the forgotten grotto then we will add all of the possible lot challenges to the park that we can and so that means we won't be able to get away from any of the normal ones except for maybe haunted house because you can't change a park into a haunted house we will enable all of the neighborhood action plans as we go as well uh, we can also add cat hangout dog hangout vampire nexus i don't think there's anything that you can't add to a park except for maintenance troubles which can't be added to a haunted house either so we will be adding the maintenance troubles lot challenge whenever we remove haunted house and if we get the maintenance troubles lot challenge first as a reward then we will just never have it um, also anything that is removed as a reward will go into the penalty list so potentially you could remove something as a reward and then add it back as a penalty and so some of these challenges may end up being here for the entire series so here is the list that I have made of all of the quests. The days are going to be between one and four days. The rewards are removing any of these things. And then penalty is this list here. So if I remove something as a reward, we will put it in the penalty list. And that means we have to add it back if we land on it. 
And these penalties will actually just stay here permanently because there will always be a chance of getting one of those. And then the quests, when we do complete them, they will be removed from the list. And the game is over when we actually complete all of the quests. So I have added all of the quests to the wheel and the first challenge is actually going to be really hard because we are starting from zero and a lot of the challenges require money, especially if you have to do them on your own lot. So we're going to spin the wheel and see what the first one is. Okay, so we have to drown an enemy sim in the pool, which means we need a pool. So I'm not going to remove this yet because we only get to remove it if we actually succeed at doing it. Now let's see how long we have to do this. Three. Okay, so we have three sim days and it's currently Sunday. So we're going to do Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And I haven't really decided if I want to remove this from the wheel so that occasionally I actually do get one and occasionally I actually do get four. Uh, let me know in the comments how that should go because I'm not really sure which one would be worse, getting one all the time or never getting one. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get enough money to buy a pool. And I really don't have very much on this lot. Uh, I guess we can, I wonder if we take a picture if they're actually worth anything. My Sim is very angry right now. I know this is evidence, but is it worth something? Well, it's worth 10 simoleons. That's something. I guess we can look for some frogs that might be able to get us something. Okay, we actually got a frog, which is a leaf frog. And of course, Zero doesn't like photography because she's angry right now. I knew that was going to happen. But that's another way you can get some pretty easy simoleons. Oh, and it's angry ambiance. Hmm, should I keep that? Well, we have 39 simoleons and a little bit of fame. Uh, that's another thing that I probably would like to do is make sure that we get some fame. Oh, we can take another picture already? It looks like you can just continuously take pictures of these. Um, does that really help though? Oh no, there is a cooldown. Okay, it's just that it doesn't matter which plant it is. Well, I want to find at least one more frog so that we can do frog breeding. I don't really want to get a lot of different frogs though because one of the quests is to breed a new frog and that can't be done if you have all of them. So I don't want all of them. Okay, so we have a tiger frog and a leaf frog. And I bred a new frog, which is a striped leaf frog. Okay, well, I just want to be sure that we don't breed all of them. So the $35 frog, I guess I will keep that one. And we'll see if we can get two $35 frogs just so that we can get some money. Uh, but I do not want any more frogs. Wow, we need 300 simoleons to make a pool. Well, that's going to be difficult. Oh, and here comes the welcome wagon. The Strangerville welcome wagon is actually quite funny. So we'll try and talk to these people. Uh, she has a fruit cake, but I have a feeling that she's not going to set it down. For some reason, I'm also not inviting the neighbors in. I think it's because I really have no door. Okay. Okay, if we try and snap her out of it. Yep, she blocks us. Sometimes that will actually get them to wake up. But yeah, most of the time it doesn't work. Open your eyes to the beauty of her blossoms. Okay, we were able to wake her up. So maybe she can be our enemy? Um, no, we said snap out of it, but it didn't work. All right, so none of these people are going to be our enemy. Well, I think at first I'm going to need a pool. So let's forget about all this other stuff for right now. Maybe painting would be a better way to earn some money. I don't know. 
join us in the crater. Yeah, no thank you. So we'll try collecting some things. I really don't want to go fishing because I'll end up not liking fishing. And that will be bad. Okay, so now I'm inspired. Maybe I will go fishing and hopefully not dislike fishing. Because fishing can be a good source of income. Probably better than photography. Okay, I think I have enough for an easel, but not to actually paint as well as have an easel. So we might have to wait a little bit. No, an easel is 350 simoleons. That's a lot. Okay, well, a little trick I know is that if you get a pea bush, then the cats and dogs will actually find you things. And she's going to need to go to the bathroom eventually anyway. So we will do that. And maybe we'll get a fishing allowed sign on our lot. Although maybe I should think about some seeds because eventually we need a cow plant. So I need to be prepared for that one. Okay, we got some daisies, bluebell. Oh, we did get strawberries. That's good. We need some strawberries and also a snapdragon. Now, I actually can't eat the fruit, unfortunately, because we are off the grid, and that will make me really uncomfortable. Oh, look, the dog has actually brought me something already, and so has the other cats or dogs. I got some feathers. Yeah, this is definitely a good money maker. And we can actually sleep in the bush, which is, oh no. In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can handle this. Oh, so we actually got a prehistoric bird with 75 simoleons. Should we invest in a selling table? Eventually, but I don't have enough money for it right now. All right, so I sold the feathers and we're going to try figure painting. And when you're first starting out, it's actually more profitable to do the small paintings. And unfortunately, I'm going to be uncomfortable really soon. So I'm not sure how much of this I can get done. And my first painting was $2. Oh, my second painting, I actually doubled my money. That's pretty good. Okay, where is Ghidri? Unfortunately, I'm not sure if they are going to show up or not. I really want him to show up because if your energy gets low and your hunger gets low, then he will give you things that help you. But if he doesn't show up, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, great. Everything does not seem to be going Zero's way at all lately. It just seems like bad news after bad news. People keep saying you never know until you try, but never talk about how it feels after trying something new and it not working out. Zero can't take another disappointment. It's too terrifying and too painful to try again. Well, so far, no sign of Ghidri or any ghosts. And I'm supposed to be in a haunted house. Maybe because there's no door, walls, or floor, they're not showing up. Which is not good. It's already Monday. So I've spent my first day. And we need to get a sim really, really tired in order to drown in the pool. So we need to get a move on. Okay, technically I have enough to buy a pool. And maybe something around the edge but I need a person to show up now. We need to make an enemy. Let's see, <laughs> a Mari Bayer. Well, I'm not sure how long it says becomes exhausted in six hours. I'm not sure if I have enough. If I have enough to make the pool, I probably should just try and do it. Okay, well, technically I have enough and I also have enough to make another painting. Okay, great. So now I just need a victim. So hopefully we can get him to stay here if I do a rude introduction. Although I'm very, very tired. I'm not sure how I'm going to get him in the pool if he's an enemy though. Let's see if I can get him to hang out for a while. Probably not. What do you mean you can't get there? He says he can't get there for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's actually getting in the pool. 
That is not a good idea. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. I am not actually asking him to get in the pool, but I need to make him an enemy first, so hopefully he stays here long enough. Oh, I can fight him. Cool. As soon as I can fight him, I can make him an enemy. I get out of the pool. I will lock you in there later. All right, so we're getting into our first fight. And as soon as we fight with him, it'll basically make our relationship max bad. And then we can declare him an enemy and drown him in the pool. Okay, we lost. Who cares? We despise each other. And now we're going to declare you an enemy. Okay, let's see if I can get him into the pool. Probably not. Oh, he got in. Okay, and I managed to lock him in while keeping myself out. Okay, well, I'm going to go nap in a bush, which is what I have to do right now. Where is Ghidri when you need him? Okay, we'll order a BLT sandwich because I have absolutely no food right now. And that's not good. Oh no, we got attacked by plasma bats. Hopefully we did not get the poison because I don't need that right now. Ah, uh, we got more uncomfortable. That's almost as bad. And of course I'm nauseated. I'm going to take another nap. Oh, we got some more feathers. I did not tell you to go into the bush. Great. Now you're going to be uncomfortable. I want to do some more painting, but I can't. If I do, she'll end up not liking painting. Hey, yeah, uh, things have been sort of crazy lately and I need a place to stay for a while. Mind if I crash at your place for a little bit? I bet this is Kyle. Is this Kyle? Okay. Who is going to see me drown a sim? Okay. Uh, I bet it's Kyle. I don't see anybody yet. Well, maybe this person will actually paint me some things that I can sell. Okay, she keeps trying to nap in the bush. I might as well just nap in the bush. Like, why can't I cue it? Okay, for some reason, you can't cue it more than once. Okay, that's just annoying. I wonder how our friend is doing in there. He's hopefully getting tired pretty soon. Or maybe he's just not able to be... Yeah, there was an earthquake. And then she went right back to sleep. Well, maybe I can break open these things and find something in it. It's actually a volcanic bomb, but there was only one. Oh, he's... No! No! The guy who was supposed to be my house guest is the guy that I'm drowning in the pool. No! This is going to make me fail. House guests do not need sleep. For, for whatever reason, The Sims has decided that they would not sleep and their their energy never goes down. He's not going to drown in the pool. Why did he ask to be a house guest? He's my enemy. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, of course, he's the only one I know. No, I know two other people, Alexa and Jess. Why is the one guy who is my enemy, the guy who asked to be a house guest and not Kyle? Oh, this is, this is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> this guy now has full energy, I bet, because he's a house guest. He's not going to drown. This is terrible. And why didn't I just say no to the house guest? Well, because most of the time I tell myself that I have to say yes to everything that the game makes me do. Because that just makes it more challenging. Um, in this case, it completely ruins my ability to win this challenge. So now we have a shower. <laughs> And maybe I can get some more painting done. But I, I'm telling you, I, this guy is not going to drown now. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can get another enemy. Okay, unfortunately, Leslie Holland is walking around with the power of the mother. Um, Here's Stacy Arnold. She's another scientist. Do I risk trying to drown another scientist? Uh, he's a teen. Can't drown him. Well, I could, but I won't. And then this guy's a conspiracy theorist. 
Um, who do I want to try drowning? I'm not sure they'll have enough time to pass out in the pool, but I guess we could try. All right, we're fighting her. Oh, there's Ghidri. Hello there, the name's Ghidri. It looks like you could use some help with this whole haunted house predicament. And thankfully, I happen to be an expert on the matter. Also, don't worry, I'm a good spirit. Uh, so, so. And he appears right as I'm making an enemy out of someone. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get my energy up without using the bush this time. Oh, I won. And I oh, no. I mean... Because I'm trying to make enemies. I have to say yes. I guess Zero is now mean. And we're going to declare her an enemy. Okay, let's see if we can get her to get in the pool. Alright, get in the pool. Don't just sit on the side. Hurry up, get out. No, don't talk. Don't talk. Just get out. All right, well, it's just her in the pool, but I'm pretty sure that he's not going to fall asleep. So we'll just try and drown her <laughs> because the other guy is my house guest and I know that they don't sleep. So we'll just try her then. Oh, it does look like he's tired, though. Maybe we should put him back in the pool. No, you're not going to the bush. Why does she constantly chat with someone? Don't chat. Swim here. Don't chat. I can't get them both in there at the same time. This is too hard. And he keeps trying to leave. Uh, I think he just redid her energy. Great. At least that's what it looked like. It. Come on. Go. No. Don't go home. Okay. I think I've finally got them in there and then I can ask Ghidri. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to Ghidri first. Yeah, I finally got them both in there. It was... Oh! You! You were in there! How did you get over here? Uh, I thought they were both in there, but no. I must need a bigger pool to have two people in at the same time. Well, I guess I'm just going to let him go because he's my stayover guest and pretty sure that he is not going to be able to die in the pool. But let's see, I have 300 satisfaction points. Um, that's not enough to become a mermaid. If you can become a mermaid, you can drain their energy faster. And so I have to hope that she's going to pass out within the next 24 hours. And I can't be sure that she will. I'm not sure if he was close to passing out or not. Yeah, he's just going to leave. Okay, well, I'll have to let him leave. He'll probably come back and be my house guest. Oh, wait, I have enough money for another pool. <laughs> Maybe I can get him to come back. Okay, I think I got him in here this time. All right. So I have two enemies and two poles. Will one of them drown before the end of tomorrow? We'll see. And it's actually the end of today because it's just now rolling over to Tuesday. So I only have until the end of Tuesday. Okay, it, since my energy is red, I can ask Ghidri or complain to Ghidri that I can't get a good night's rest. And he immediately fills all of my energy need, which is nice. Oh, He's drowning. Okay, so even though he was a stayover guest, I guess because he didn't leave and come back, he actually drowned. Okay, I guess I can let the other lady go because I don't need to drown two sums. I mean, that would be cruel. And no, I'm not going to plead for an enemy. She actually got a happy moodlet for 24 hours from that all right zero yeah we understand you're happy but you don't have to be that happy a sim did die and that is sad everyone else thinks it's sad okay grim let's get it over with okay i'm going to strengthen his connection to the physical world and we're going to actually have this grave on our lot and we will let the other lady go 
Oh, and she's crying for him. I'm sorry, did you know him? All right, since we're very inspired, we're going to do a large classic painting. And Vlad is uh, saying, I have a lovely neck. Great. Now, since we did finish early and we have until midnight on Tuesday before we need to roll again, I think we're going to spend the time focusing on... Oh, we should probably say hello to the Grim Reaper. Why, why is he angry, though? And why is Vlad here? No, 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 no. Don't say bye. Oh, great. I didn't get to say hello. Oh, well. We need to become friends with the Grim Reaper for one of the other quests, but I guess we'll have to um, see him again anyway, because we're not allowed to do the complete quest beforehand. Or, you know, that one actually is kind of hard. I would say that we can do all the things to prepare for it, and maybe we we could do the actual uh, thing, but say we had to befriend the Grim Reaper and we were already his friends, then we would have to at least see him and say hello to him in order to get the quest completed. Because we're not checking off the quests early, even if we do them. Oh, and she likes painting. That's great. Anyway, we're not we're not checking off the quests even if we do them early, because we need to do them when we get them. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see which one we can remove. Vampire Nexus. Um, yeah, like that was really a challenge anyway. I guess maybe Vlad did show up once, but he shows up anyway. All right, so we removed Vampire Nexus, and since we removed it, it will now go on the penalty wheel. So if we do not complete a quest, we have a chance to add it back. And I guess we're just going to complete these paintings because they are really good at earning us money. And hopefully, oh, it also gets us fun now. So that's great. And hopefully we'll be able to have a house before the next challenge comes around. Okay, and Zero is now a one-star celebrity. And that's actually important for one of the other challenges because you have to fight the paparazzi. And I think it's cheating to go to Del Sol Valley and just fight them normally. I think you should have to fight them as a celebrity. I'm not sure if you can get snapdragons from starter flowers. Seem to remember that probably not because they seem to be a more rare flower. I got some hollies and I don't want the daisies. The hollies, however, are fall and winter, so maybe I will plant those. Oh, maybe I can order a delivery. Yeah, except for the internet does not work without a supply of power while off the grid. Uh, but if you step off your lot, you can do it. Of course, they have a strawberry, but I already have strawberries. I don't need that. And they do have a pomegranate, which is something that you need for a death flower. But I'm hoping to get the death flower when I visit the magic realm. I guess, well, that's really expensive 165 i'm not sure if that's worth it i don't think they have any flowers at all now i know if you visit the shop in hennaford on bagley that she will have the snapdragon flower but i unfortunately can't get it through this i think i'm just going to spend the rest of my time painting and see how big of a house i can get built up ah he stole my counter. I forgot about the sharing is carrying. Um, that is unfortunate. Oh no, here comes Vlad. No, you don't, Vlad. I'm awake. Okay, we'll try one more time to get some energy from Ghidri. He keeps telling me, yeah, he can't do it again. I'm not sure what time I did it last time. But unfortunately, he's not able to do it for me this night. Maybe I can only do it every other night. Well, I want to be awake during midnight because what happens at midnight is all of my stuff breaks. And Ghidri 
stole my counter. I had a full kitchen in here, but not anymore. Okay, and now we have the ghosts inspectors appearing. So I'm going to have a little bit of an issue with them now. Hey, you stole my painting. I wasn't even done with the painting on the easel and the guy took it from me. Oh, you did not like that. I'm sorry. All right, well, it's after midnight. So we have to figure out what is the next quest that we're going to have to do. So we spin the wheel and what will we get this time? Befriends the talking toilet. Uh, the only problem with that is we don't have electricity. Okay, we only have one, two, and four days left. Okay, we get two days to do this one. So, befriend a talking toilet in two days, which gives us Wednesday and Thursday to finish this quest. I already bought a toilet that was off the grid, but I guess I could buy the talking toilet instead. The only issue is I don't know if it will work if we don't have any power. Yeah, power doesn't work off the grid. Great. We are getting a little bit of power because I actually put power tiles on the roof. Um, but I guess we're going to have to try to get some more power. This one actually may be impossible if for some reason this toilet won't work even after I put power here. Uh, I need to add some ice to the fridge though. Why is he not liking my offerings? Okay, this time he was able to recharge my energy. Good. Now I also need something to eat. Oh, I found a fridge in the dumpster. Well, I guess he just doesn't like prints. For some reason, this guy will not take selfies. Well, even though that guy supposedly stole my painting, I am able to resume it because it wasn't letting me do a new painting and I went to manage worlds and came back and it's here again so that's kind of weird oh is the talking toilet working it is working okay let me try and go chit chat I think it's because we have power really it shouldn't let me do this I don't have any stored power for some reason this is just bugged okay Ghidri is flirting with me for some reason Okay, Talking John is our friend. I guess that's really all we needed to do. Why is Ghidri flirting with me again? Come on, Ghidri. Well, while she's painting, we should just discover what we're going to be able to get this time. And we spin that wheel. Oh, sharing is caring. Yes. I really, really hate that neighborhood action plan. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Okay, all I can do is show off my work. I oh, it says stolen from the Sparks household. Okay, so he actually did steal it. And I cannot sell it. That is so weird. All right, maybe I can get rid of this fear because she wants to show off her work and be recognized because she has a fear of failure. And then I guess we can try selling the painting from Build Buy and seeing if it'll let us do that. Nope, we get zero dollars. Oh well, I'm going to try repairing this fridge, but most likely I am going to get electrocuted, but we'll see. Ah, this! No, I'm not going to donate one simoleon. Now, if you go to purchase gifts... You can actually buy some things. Um, let's see, we can buy an apple and a bonsai bud, which I don't need. Daisy, which I don't need. A mushroom. No, I don't really need that. Pomegranate might be useful, even though that's 150 simoleons. And they also have seasonal plant packets. And you can't buy these unless you have a higher level gardening skill. So if you buy them for purchase gifts, let's see if we can get some snapdragons from the fall plants because they're both fall and spring. But I, I don't know if I really want spring plants. Maybe we'll get a couple of those too. But 
I need to try and get some snapdragons. Oh, we got some carrots. That's lovely. And I got more apples. Okay, nothing useful. I guess in order to increase my gardening skill, I will plant some of these, but they're really not useful. I guess I should just spend my time painting. Oh yes, and Zero likes gardening. That's great. Because if she likes it, she can't dislike it. Maybe we should actually get a woodworking table. Because while painting is profitable, it's not really useful for any of the different challenges. And I know I need to get my handiness to level 10 eventually. No, we can't do it while we're nauseated. Oh, that sucks. I will say the one nice thing about the bush is that it, with the grody lot trait, it actually doesn't make you nauseous. So if you don't like being nauseated, you'll just be uncomfortable from using the bush. Oh no, now I'm going to be paranoid. Great. Okay, so Ghidri has made me flirty for some reason. She keeps flirting autonomously with Ghidri. I don't know why. And then she's autonomously mean to him, too. Okay, I'm just going to let their relationship do whatever. Oh, we should definitely get married to someone. This will actually give us a huge boost in funds if we get married. If we say under white conditions, we only get 2500 right away. But nope, nope, we're going to get married. Oh, 10 days? It says I have seven days to get married, but the buff is lasting 10 days for some reason. Could we marry this conspiracy theorist? Um, maybe not. We need to find someone to marry. Ideally, someone I can try for a baby with if I need to. Okay, here is Brody Baron. He's a scientist, which means he's probably not infected. If you choose one of the random townies in Strangerville, you might get someone who's infected. So let's try and figure out if he likes women. Another issue I have with townies is occasionally you'll actually more than occasionally a lot. You will find townies that do not want to woohoo with anyone. And it's just a little bit annoying when there's so many of them. Now, don't be mean. We are trying to be nice. Let's see if he's single first. We're not going to try and take someone who's already married. Okay, he's single. And he will flirt with us. Maybe we should actually get to know him too. And make sure he doesn't have any annoying traits. He's ambitious. Oh no, can you please hang out for me with a, for a little while? Just hang out. Oh no, it looks like Temperance is visiting. Okay, she's here. You suddenly feel an immense evil presence. Many spirits dwell here, but this one feels different than the rest. If there was ever a time to panic, this might be it. Okay. And Ghidri, of course, is going to be right here. And there's Temperance wanna have a drink <laughs> okay yeah we can't really marry Ghidri though okay maybe we'll have our first kiss and then we'll figure out what quest we have to do for the next day because it's now Friday and we're spinning the wheel what is it gonna be no we've had <laughs> get to six them. This is not going to be doable. Even if we get four days, I don't think this will be doable. Well, at least if we get married, we will have a chance to buy the rocket ship. Okay, four days. Four days. Might be possible, but still probably not. You have to get your rocket science skill to level 10 to make a wormhole. And we have four days to do it. Okay, so we have to speed run getting married now. Um, why are you saying that I am not friendly? <laughs> okay, I think we have to raise our friendship a little bit first. 
Okay, so he will also woohoo with me. So, yeah, we can get married to the sim. What? What? Why are you leaving so soon? Our friendship is not high enough. Okay. Okay, he's a snob, which isn't the best, but I guess it's also not the worst. Okay, let's try proposing, and hopefully he doesn't reject me because we just had our first kiss. Because sometimes Sims will do that. Okay, we just got engaged. We didn't get married yet. If we elope immediately, I'm not sure if we will have that bug where we try to join households and it screws up. But we'll make an attempt. And we're married, and we got 15,000 simoleons, enough to buy the rocket ship. Okay, and we got another 20,000 from him, and it, I don't know if this will work. No, it does not. Okay, we cannot move him in, and my game is now bugged. Great. All right, so since I cannot move Brody Baron in with us... What I did was I made a little house and it's hard to see because ah, it's haunted house. So everything is auto light. So I have this little bathroom upstairs as usual. And I have one bed up here and made a little dining table and everything that you could need. And then downstairs we have the basement. So I built the basement out because Zero is paranoid. And she will get a bonus to being in a basement. So she has her own little bathroom down here. And we have now a fuse box with no power. A, wa a hot water heater also with no power. And we have laundry that we have to keep up with. And then all of the plants are down here in the basement so that they will grow all of the time. And I also have all of my money-making things down here. And so Zero is basically going to live in the basement. And what I thought we could do is invite our husband to be our roommate. Because I'm pretty sure that as a scientist, he doesn't have a house. Um, if he does, we will just have to change that. Okay, so we can ask him to be our roommate so that he will actually be around. But we won't have to control him. Okay, so that did work. And we do have some space over here for him to have his things. And it already assigned this bed to him. So he's going to live upstairs and we're going to live downstairs. I did also purchase the rocket, but now I don't have enough money to build it. Because, oh, well, actually I do. I have a bunch of feathers. Hmm, I think we should go weed these things. But, well, we really do need to have some skill anyway so we'll go ahead and weed the plants so that they don't die and hopefully the ghost goes away because when they're down here they un oh a scepter sip i should drink this charisma level seven well that wasn't really what i needed but okay now the only thing bad about having brody around is that he's going to try to talk to me a lot so hopefully he will do things like clean and weed and do laundry but I have not seen him do anything yet. And it's love day. Okay, so he, we have reached gardening level five. So we can now take cuttings and graft. Which means we need to get started on those snapdragons if we can find them. Now I did not put the rocket in the basement because I felt that that didn't make any sense. Now I could ask Ghidri and my husband to help with the rocket and it would build a little bit faster. But the thing is, I need my rocket science skill to be level 10. So it really won't help me if they're the ones building it. Stop, stop, stop. Don't like. Oh, I knew it. As soon as she became uncomfortable. She doesn't like rocket science. This is going to be really fun now. Why are you in your hot weather wear? Okay, if you get this little thing over here, this... uh fishbowl you can actually purchase a captain fish bones and i believe that is a really rare fish and hard to get when fishing so why are you going to bed okay i understand you're tired but we have mold down here so we have to take care of that first oh yeah the um toilet is dirty we need to clean it hey zero it's me brody do you want to go out on a date 
well, we need to go on a date for Love Day, and I'm going to say that we're allowed to go to a different lot if someone else invites us. The only downside to this is that, unfortunately, we're not going to get a reward for it since we did not start the event. Question is, is there anywhere around here where I could potentially get a Snapdragon? Probably not. Okay, I don't see any. So we're just going to end this. Hopefully he doesn't take any offense. Okay, he had a great time. Good. Ack, look at all the stuff that he brought. I don't want these lamps, definitely. Okay, now Zero has an emotion bomb. Great. Okay, let's just do a painting so that we can get our fun up a little bit. And then we'll go back to the rocket ship. And there's Temperance. We'll send her home, of course. So what is the Dust Bunny going to bring us? Eh, just nine simoleons. Maybe we should go ahead and get Patchy because I am having some trouble keeping up with gardening here. Oh no, Brody is cold for some reason. I think maybe because he took a shower, my hot water heater doesn't work. Oh, uh, hopefully he's okay because it is cool. It was warm. The only thing about this rocket science skill is that it completely depletes your energy. I don't know why. It's like I have to sleep so often. Okay, I have finished the rocket. Now I can explore space or I can upgrade. Now I need to install the wormhole generator for a thousand simoleons, but that requires level 10 rocket science skill. And I have level five. I think that exploring space gets you rocket science skill and also fame, so maybe we'll do that once, even though Zero is feeling pretty terrible right now. Let's see how much rocket science skill we get from level 5 at 23% doing one round in the rocket ship. Escape pod adrift while cruising comfortably somewhere in the vicinity of the Vega Start Tron. Zero sees a banged up escape pod drifting out of orbit. Lights are flickering. Maybe something's inside. If she brings it on board her ship, she can see what it is. Or she can just use it for spare parts. I guess we're going to bring it on board because if it's an escape pod and we dismantle it and something's inside, I don't think that would be a good thing. Oh, Ghidri, you've given me your jacket. Wow, you've been living here for quite some time now. You know most people would have turned tail and run by now, but that's what I like about you. You never compromise, never give in. I may not have much. Material possessions are kind of moot for a ghost, but I'd like to offer you something for your perseverance. Here, take my favorite jacket. No, now don't worry. I've got plenty of them, but this is the one I died. Uh, I, I mean, this one is very special to me. Now keep it up. Plant your feet firmly in the ground. Haunted or not, this is your home. Life is what you make of it. And I know you'll make something good. Thanks, Kidri. Um, Yeah, I think he died in it. But now we can be twinsies. Alien on board. Zero uses her ship's robotronic arms to drag the escape pod on board through the airlock. After a few minutes of banging on the hatch, it pops open and the alien creature pops out. Zero's not sure whether she should try to catch it and subdue it or just shove it out into space. Uh, I guess we'll try catching it. This is probably a bad idea. After wrestling with the strange and slippery creature, Zero manages to wrangle it into a big specimen jar. She'll take it back to Earth with her for scientists to dissect or study. Okay, it's a specimen for science. I guess that's better than just throwing it out into space, though. Okay, we have about 35 complete for rocket science and we obtained a preserved alien we also need to get a vacuum this lower level or actually upper level the ground floor is looking quite dirty and i'm guessing that no one is going to vacuum but me oh zero has been really active lately and loves it being in motion is starting to feel like a core part of her and embrace the change well we have to say yes we are now active so our Additional traits are mean, active, and paranoid. Not the best, but also not the worst. Well, that's the end of this week. I'm only going to do a week at a time, so you'll have to tune in next time to see if Zero is able to complete her mission to go to Sixum by Tuesday. So we have the end of Saturday 
Sunday and Monday, and we need to get there before Tuesday. Okay, we need to get there before Tuesday uh, morning. So we don't get to use Tuesday. We only get Sunday and Monday, just two more days. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>